Hi everyone, so following on from my last video, um, I do apologise it did cut out, um, we're going to step you through the other sort of design of this card. So what I've done is gone ahead and made those tags and I've decided to do this as a landscape card as opposed to a portrait. So I added an extra tag from all of those strips that I cut earlier. Um, and instead of um, mounting them using the magic mount, I'm actually going to sit these tags flat. So I've got my um, glossy accent just because there's a bit more dimension rather than relying on the double sided tape. I find that the glossy accent will work a bit better here. And then what I'm going to do is actually place it on an angle and stick it down like so. Just so, A, I'm happy with the placement of the actual um, banners and B, the knots do line up to the edge of that card. So I'm going to also again use the glossy accents to stick down the edge there. Now the other thing that I have done is instead of stamping straight onto the card, I've used one of the other um, stamps from the set. And I've stamped it onto a piece of cardstock um, using the um, T-Rose ink and I'm going to um, mount that above the banner so that so you can see um, both of the, the um, bottom of the banners so you can tell that they're banners um, but so that it's sort of sitting above the banners this time. So I've just put some magic mount on the back of that. And we're just going to mount it so that we can tell, oh, I haven't sat that very well, so that we can tell that they are banners. Somehow I've got to do this. So it hasn't quite lined up the way I planned it to. So instead what I'm going to do is flip it over and I'm just going to trim the bottom off. And it's going to sit there like that. So that's another card. I'm going to keep going with this one. And the idea with this next one is that we've got these strips. So this is the back of the roses. And we're actually going to go ahead and um, layer this onto the card. So the first thing I'm going to do is to ink the edges in the T-rows. Just got edge there. Of this strip. I'm also going to just trim this down at this stage because I'm actually going to trim off some of this just so the pattern that there doesn't have a huge gap between the top and the bottom and then I'm going to ink the edge of that one. I'll put that aside and I'm also going to use this strip here. So I will ink the edge of that one as well. Now these are actually a little bit too long for the card but I'm going to fix that up. So I've just inked the edges that I think I will use and we'll see how we go. So I'm going to start with the top piece on the edge and I'm going to stick the top piece down just two strips this time okay and cover that edge of the card Okay, so the next one we're going to do is this one, but because the piece is longer, I'm actually going to stick the, the um, tape down on this edge as opposed to on the actual um, piece of paper. And then just to measure the edge, I'll just lay it next to it and run the strip there. That way we don't waste any of that paper. We know I like to uh, reserve as much paper as possible. Then we're going to lay this one up. Next to it. And trim the 
bad job. Now normally I'd wait and trim off all of it, but I know that the other paper, um, I actually want the knot to sit at this end, so I'm actually going to layer that over the top. And again I'm going to use the same technique of rather than putting the tape on the piece of paper, I'm going to put it straight onto the card so that we don't end up with any sticky bits of paper hanging over at the end. Okay, and this time I want the knot. If you don't get the measurements right, it doesn't really matter because you're just layering those pieces of cardstock over the top. I'm going to trim that piece off and we've got ourselves a beautiful base card. Now, the other thing I'm going to do is to just take some twine, some white twine, and just wrap this around. I'm going to wrap it around the card three times. And just have it sort of cross over a little bit. And tie a knot. No bows, because we know I'm not good at those. And just wrap it around. And I mean, you don't need to be too particular about it at this stage then you can kind of spread it out once you're happy with with where the knot is and that kind of thing so you can shuffle it around and and then I just generally take some time to shape that and then what we've done or what I've done is this stamp um, the XOXO again in um, this time I've used a, the Forget Me Knot and I'm going to take the Viridian Archival Ink and just before I stick that down I'm going to ink the edges in that Viridian just to give it a little bit more colour on that piece. I've already put some Magic Mount on there and so I'm just going to peel those edges off and pop that down in the corner and we've got ourselves another cute card um, keep an eye out because i'm going to make a third video um, to finish off the last few cards thanks for watching